My name is Austin Phillips. And I'm Emily. We've been married for a year now, and we bought this house. It was December 11th. Yes. 2015. Uh, first, Emily moved in. We were in engaged at that point, and then when the wedding rolled around, Austin and Talia moved in. Since we bought it, we did a huge amount of upgrades and done, pff, I don't even know how much money, <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> With all the renovations we've done, we've been really careful as not going to debt, make sure that we are always being smart with our finances so that we don't get stuck. <laughs> Saving where we can to knowing, kind of having a plan of what we want to accomplish next and saving for it and not rushing into things. I have to remind you sometimes. <laughs> when you're a child of God, I think we are blessed to be a blessing. I, I've said that so many times. And we've right. never, never gone without. like. Yeah. We give money here and there to whoever, but we've always had, like, we've never starved or anything. We have shelter, we have clothes, we have more than we need. So it's good to help people who don't have what they need at that time. I think it's just important to support, like, the church itself and people like Catherine who are going out on missions and stuff. Like, we've been so blessed that we need to be sharing that with other people too. Um, and, you know, if it takes us another month to save up for a renovation, you know, she doesn't have another month to save, like, we might as well be helping her in this time. I think it's important to support the church so that they can further the kingdom of God in that way. And it's biblical, I think biblical, and we want to follow what God wants us to do. And if that's what he wants us to do, then we should probably do it. And we always pray about giving. I mean, like when we do want to give, or we both, we both usually pray about it and then come up with a number or a lot of times it's the same number. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's probably what we should be doing. It's not just about the 10% or however much you want to give. I think realistically, it's all the money is God. And he understands that we need food, we need clothes, we need, you know, essentials. It's okay to want things, but I think it's more important to sort of have patience and give where God is calling you to give. He doesn't need our money, but the resources that we have, he can definitely use to further his kingdom. Never regretted it. I think it's vital. And I think even just supporting the church because we go there every week and, you know, the amount of stuff they do for us yeah. is amazing. When we are giving to the church, the church can use the money to, you know, reach the city or reach missions or wherever God is calling them. And the Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver, so I don't think it's necessarily about the amount. It's that you are willingly, you know, and generously giving what you can give. And God understands, like, we aren't all millionaires, but we can give what we can give. And He, you know, if you're doing it with a generous and cheerful heart, then that's what He wants. That's what, that's what He loves to see.